Good morning, everyone. Today we will talk about reinforcement steel bars. Welcome back to today episode. Today we will talk about reinforcement steel bar. Reinforcement concrete is the most commonly used structural materials in engineering constructions. Although concrete is strong in resisting compressive strength, but it is weak in tensions. Hence, to withstand tensional stresses, steel is needed in a concrete. The reinforcement in concrete may be simple bars or rod bent and tied to the given schedule with a stirrups. The nominal diameter of a bar used at site were R6, R10, T10, T16, T20, and T25. So let's look at the steel code that you will see in a drawing. Okay, steel is supplied in two basic types. R means code for mild steel bar, and for example, R6 means mild steel bars 6 mm diameters. The bar diameters here is 6 mm, and for T is the code for high tensile steel bars, for example, when you see T10 in the drawing, it means high tensile bar 10 mm diameters. Okay, the diameters bars of 10 mm. For design of steel bar, it comes with two different designs. There is round design as you can see in this picture round shape and smooth surface another type of design is the rib design this one where you will see there is a rib on the surface of the bar the next important thing about the reinforcement steel is the weight of the steel it is important for us to convert the length measured from drawing to weight of steel bars. The different size of diameters of bar have their own unit weight where we can call it kg per meters. Look at this table. R6 means mild steel bar in 6 mm diameters. Okay, the diameters of the bar is 6 mm it has the weight of 0 0.222 kg for every 1 meter length we take another example let's say t16 okay so this is high tensile steel bar of 16 mm diameters okay the diameter is 16 mm for high tensile steel and the weight of every meters of it is 1.58 kgs so this is how we look at the nominal diameters of the bar the readings of the unit weight next we look into the indications of reinforcement in a drawing for beam detail engineering drawing is a language to communicate with details. Therefore, there is a standard to indicate reinforcement in drawings such as what we see in this drawing. 2T12 that label here give the meaning that there is two numbers of high tensile steel bar at 12 mm diameters. Same goes to the label at the bottom here this is the line for the reinforcement bar label at 2T16. Okay. And this is another line for the reinforcement bar that label at 2T16. It indicates that it is designed with two numbers of high tensile steel bar at 16 mm diameters. So let's look at the sections view. If we look at the sections view here, we call it section AA. 
So I draw it here. What we will see is there's two bars at top. Okay, 2T. So there's two bar at 12 mm diameters. And there's two bars because the 2T16 is extended until here at two bars only. So we will see two bars here. Okay, 2T16. So this is 2T12. Okay, referring to this drawing. And this is 2T16, referring to this information here. Okay, and if we cross sections as point B, Okay, we cross section at point B. Okay, if we cross section at point B, what we will see? Okay, we will still see 2T12 here. And for the bottom bar, we will see 4 2T16. Okay, we will see 4 2T16. Because this we got two, this we got two. Okay, so at the middle part of this beam, we will see four two T sixteen. So this is how we read the drawing for the top bar and the bottom bars. For the next drawing. Structural design of slab has top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement. This is a structural design for slab. For the top reinforcement, it is designed by BRC. Okay, for the top reinforcement here, this part is the top reinforcement. It is designed by using BRC. BRC is a welded wire match, and from here, A6 means they are using 6 mm diameters BRC. Let's look at here. They are using BRC A8. So A8 means 8 mm diameters of BRC. And followed by here, which is BRC A7, they are using 7 mm diameters BRC. So BRC is a welded wire match, and normally when you buy BRC, it looks like this from plan view. Okay, it's a wire mesh. For the bottom reinforcement, for the bottom reinforcement, it is designed by two layers of bottom bars which are indicated by bottom top BT followed by bottom bottom BB. So there are two layers of bar at bottoms. Let's look at the bottom reinforcement. It is indicating the informations with T10125. Okay. T10125. It means it is a high tensile steel bar with a code of T and 10 is the diameters. Of the bar itself. 125 means the spacing between the bars. Okay, so the spacing between the bars here is 125 from center to center. Okay, so this is how we read the drawing for the bottom bars, and that's it for the reinforcement drawings for slab. So, as a summary, these are the important points to understand a reinforcement drawing. The first point we have to look into the length of the bar The second point we have to look into the size of the bar size mean the diameter 
Okay, the diameter of the power. The third one is the number of bars. Okay. The fourth one is the spacing. Of the bar, okay. Reba center to center spacing. The fifth one is the directions of the bar in slab. Directions of the bar in a slab. Okay, so this is the summary that we have to understand these five points so that we can know and read a structural reinforcement bar drawings. Thank you. Bye.